Hey guys, Pidgey here. In this video, we're going to talk about icon sets and how you can choose the right icon library. Since I can tell you from first hand experience, if you choose the wrong one, there is going to be a lot of work and hassles that you essentially have to go through in order to update it in any given client project. So it's really important to make a strategic decision around something which uh, some uh, of you might think it's uh, a small detail, but uh, it actually has a big impact within uh, a brand identity system and uh, generally speaking in any web and UI UX design project. So the very first thing that uh, you want to uh, choose in your icon set. And uh, by the way, we're looking at this uh, beautiful uh, icon set, which is Untitled UI, which you can find on the Figma community. So just a small parenthesis on that. The very first thing that you wanted to focus on is uh, scalability. So it's important to choose an icon set which uh, is going to fulfill all of your iconography needs for the project. So you don't want a beautiful icon set which only has a few icons because you're going to encounter situations where you need a specific icon and then you can find it. And of course, you can create custom icons. There's going to be instances where you need a very specific icon and you're simply going to have to create it uh, by yourself, but uh, if uh, that is uh, a regular occurrence, uh, it's going to take time, uh, effort, uh, and uh, of course, uh, uh, extra bandwidth. So you want to maximize uh, your efficiency as designer, especially if uh, you're freelancing, but uh, that just applies uh, in uh, pretty much any realm. And uh, that is going to be the very first criteria that I look for whenever I'm looking for an icon set. And uh, of course, uh, the following criteria is going to be alignment with the brand identity. So you can find amazing icon sets out there which uh, are scalable, but uh, you always have to ask the key question. And that is, uh, is this icon set uh, speaking to the audience of the brand that I'm working with. So that is essentially going to be really important because if you're going with a minimal style, but the branding is geared towards an audience and generally speaking, it's styled in a way where it's not minimal, well, that's uh, where you're going to have uh, issues. So that's another thing that uh, you definitely want to consider. And uh, talking about scalability, another really important element is uh, how scalable it's uh, the icons uh, uh, when it comes to responsive design. So for example, you can find some uh, amazing icons uh, which uh, are going to translate well <clears throat> in uh, some sizes, but if you scale them down uh, in, uh, say, mobile responsive sizes, uh, they're going to break. So this is common with icons which are quite complex and uh, icons uh, which uh, have uh, certain type of strokes. So for example, if you're going with icons which, uh, with, which are complex and uh, the stroke, the outlines are very thin in terms of uh, literally like how thin the stroke of the icon is, you're going to notice most likely that on uh, smaller devices such as tablet and mobile, those icons are going to struggle to show in the correct way. So you definitely want to check for mobile responsiveness, especially if you're working on a iOS or Android app. And that is essentially going to be really important. So on top of that, if uh, you're working on uh, AIOS uh, or Android or web app, uh, um, you want to just check uh, that uh, the icon set is compatible with the platform guidelines. So there's going to be some instances where some icons aren't supported. So that's another thing that uh, you definitely want to consider. 
And uh, another element uh, which uh, is uh, important after you did this uh, responsive uh, and uh, readability check uh, in general is uh, how is uh, the visual harmony between uh, one icon and the other because one of the most important things uh, whenever you're, you're creating an icon set and uh, you're choosing an icon set in this case uh, is uh, for the icons to work smoothly with one another. So sometimes you can find icons which are amazing if uh, taken in isolation, but when put uh, side by side together in context, uh, they're not uh, really going to work uh, as well. And uh, that really boils down to how good uh, was the designer or how much uh, detail uh, oriented uh, he was in the creation of that icon set. So that's another thing that uh, you definitely want to consider. And uh, also what are the needs in terms of uh, the type and uh, the states, uh, the UI states of uh, the icon? Because uh, in uh, some instances, uh, maybe you want uh, uh, the icons to be in uh, line icons. Other times you want them to be solid. And uh, there's going to be some projects where you only want uh, solid icons or only want uh, line icons. And uh, that is going to really depend on the project and uh, the brand identity of the company. There isn't really a right or wrong way uh, around this. Usually what I like to do is to create rules if uh, I am going to introduce both the line icons and the outline icons. So one of the benefits of the line icons is of course that they are more minimal. They're quite strategic in UI design, but if you zoom in, the, uh, the fill icons can be seen, uh, can have a, an area of legibility, which is a bit more increased, especially at uh, smaller uh, sizes. Now, I'm not saying that necessarily if you're going with uh, a mobile design, uh, the solid uh, icon is going to be better than the outline icon. There's actually a lot of usage of uh, outline icons, uh, um, much more than uh, solid ones. But uh, there are going to be instances where one is going to be to make more sense than the other. And uh, it really boils down on uh, what uh, the type of project that you're working on uh, is requiring and uh, what makes sense in context. Some of these uh, rules uh, and theories uh, are really going to depend based on the project and the context. So you're going to need to make a, a decision based on what do you think uh, is uh, the best uh, um, in that specific scenario. There isn't really a rule setting stone uh, around uh, these, uh, these elements. So these are going to be the very most important elements. Uh, and then of course, uh, you're going to need to keep in mind uh, the accessibility color contrast, uh, which uh, is a bit, uh, agnostic from uh, the icon set that you're going to select. And uh, on top of that, uh, just uh, I would uh, uh, really recommend you to find uh, an icon set uh, which makes it very easy to search uh, for icons. So for, for example, this one is uh, structured in a way where it's extremely easy to find an icon. I can go under assets and I can look for the actual icons uh, uh, directly from here in the search bar and uh, I can find it very easily. So that's definitely something that is going to enable you to uh, make the workflow more efficient. Uh, again, Untitled UI is the name of uh, this one specifically. And I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. If uh, you liked uh, this, um, this video and if you have any questions about uh, icon sets, uh, feel free to leave them in uh, the comment section. And on my channel, I have over 900 videos entirely for free. So if you want to learn more about UI UX design and web design uh, from a designer with over a decade of experience, feel free to check it out and I'll see you in the very next video.